from the outside, it looks like a small downtown shop. But once inside the doors, it's a bustling four-floor department store carrying everything from children's toys to carpeting and everything in between. And as the signs say, Kings Mills is closing down after 140 years. Lori Kingsmill is a fifth-generation shopkeeper. There's a lot of men here. Traditionally, um, the men were working and the women were at home. I'm one of the first uh, female members of the family to actually take an active role in the business. And my husband and I have a daughter, Emily, and she's 20, and she also works in the business. Unlike the fate of many other family-operated shops, Kingsmills isn't closing down because chain stores are driving it out of business. Lori and her husband want to sail around the world, and, in order to do so, they must sell the store. But many are sad to see it go. Really sorry that it's going out of business. Friends Daphne and Sandra have been meeting up for shopping trips to Kings Mills for more than 20 years. It has quality. There's always been quality, and I've bought furniture, clothing, china. I've bought just about everything here. I love, still love it. Yeah. <laughs> What gives the store part of its charm is the old-style elevators and museum-like displays. It's, you know, been here forever. It's a London icon, and it's just very sad to see it go. As for when King's Mills is closing, well, that won't happen anytime too soon. They've just got a new stock, and they say they'll stay open until all the merchandise is sold. For Western News, I'm Tiffany Pope.